You have started? You have started, sir. Yeah, please. Hello, future doctors. How are you? You can type your message. I can see. Message not coming. Okay, anyways, so myself, Ajay Kumar Shivastav. Ah, namaste, namaste, namaste. Fine, very good, very good. So myself, Ajay Kumar Shivastav, and children, I teach botany. Okay? Or rather, it's better to say, I discuss botany with students, okay? Because teaching is a very, very big word. So it is better to say discuss, because I feel even a teacher is a student of the subject, because subject is much bigger than anyone. So the only thing is I am a more experienced student than you, because I have been studying this subject for many more years earlier. So I have a better, probably, knowledge of the subject. So I am also a student. You are also a student of the subject. I am a more experienced student of the subject. So I try to discuss the subject with you. Am I correct? Uh, someone is asking, sir, where are you from? Uh, I am from the most beautiful country in the world called India. OK? State. I. You can see, either someone is asking, sir, which state? You can see I am in solid state. Do I look in liquid state? Someone is speaking, can you speak Telugu? Uh, I can speak a little bit of Telugu. I can ask you, hello, Naru. That much I can speak. Uh, someone is asking big vi which village. Children, I tell you, with the advancement of internet, entire world has become a big village. Now distance has no meaning through the uh, world of internet. Am I correct? Uh, so, uh, that is why we today we say it is a global village. It is a global village. We are all connected to each other, wherever in the which part of the world we are. Okay. Well, now someone is having a lot of curiosity. So children, I was born and brought up and I completed most of my studies from uh, UP, Uttar Pradesh. It is a Hindi state, it is a North Indian state. Okay. And then in the course of my job, of course, I have uh, traveled to different uh, states of the country. I started with Delhi, then uh, uh, Pune, then uh, Jaipur, and uh, then for the last seven, eight years, I am in Vijayawada. So now, although I am from a North Indian state, but now Vijayawada is like a home to me. I feel very homely here. Children here are very sweet, and uh, I really love my students, my children. I really love this place. and. <laughs> And uh, I feel that the Andhra or the Telugu stores belong to me as much as it belongs to you. Am I correct? Okay. Uh, someone is asking, sir, why you have come to Andhra? You see, children, as I said, that now the world has become a global village. So you cannot remain confined in a particular area, a localized area. If you have talent, if you have knowledge, and if people throughout the world, if they have the respect for your knowledge, naturally you have you go and you spread your knowledge. 
Many Indians are going to US, many Indians are going to Germany, UK. Now, uh, you know that most of the skill, there was a time when the doctors, British doctors were the best in the world. Today, Indian doctors are predominant in even USA, UK, we, at time where only uh, British doctors were best. So we Indians, okay, we have the skill, we have the knowledge, and we have the zeal to excel. So we are spreading throughout the world. Ah, uh, my name is uh, Ajay Kumar Shivasta. My name is Ajay Kumar Shivasta. Okay, children. Now, few things I want to ask you. First of all, I want to ask you, how much zeal? Okay, how much you have this craving in you to become a doctor on a scale of one to five? You have just to mention the figure. What is how much? zeal you have, how much craving you have to become a doctor on a scale of one to five. 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 Very good. Because children, this is very important that whatsoever you are going to pursue as your career, you should have a very strong urge. You have a, should have very strong urge to pursue that career. By a complacent approach, you can never be successful in the career which you are going to opt. So it's very good. Okay. Now my second question is that you can answer in one word. What is the positive point of medical profession that you want to become a doctor? What is the positive point of medical profession that you want to become a doctor? You can end one word. Okay. Very good. Very good. Very good. Okay, I am getting all the answers, but for one answer, no one is saying to earn money. That is also important in life, children. Ah, very good. So you see, yes. So children, if you see, there are three basic positive points of becoming a doctor, I will tell you. Money. And third one, which I did not see, yeah, but indirectly it came, that is job satisfaction. Okay. Do you agree? These are the three main harbingers of choosing medical profession as your career. Okay. Yes. Now let us see one each by one. Of course, money. Money is children. It is, it is just useless to say, no, no, I don't want money. Money is not important. Money is, okay, one of the very important thing. Of course, next to just most important. Money is very important for life. If you have a proper home, if you have a proper food, then only you can think even about helping the society. So money is very important in life. Of course, but that the money should come through a proper way. It should come through a legal way. Okay. Okay. It should come through ethical way. So money is very important, but it should come through ethical way. Okay. Second is children, social recognition. This is one of the very important points of medical profession that you get a social recognition. You know, if you have earned your name as a good physician, as a good surgeon, if even if you go to a local shop, you might not be recognizing, but the shop owner recognizes you. Oh, this doctor has come to my shop. Sir, please come sit. Sir, have a bottle of cold drink. Sir, what can I show you? So this type of respect only a doctor gets. Okay, by virtue of his 
service to the nation by virtue of his skill. So this social respect is one of the very strong points of medical profession. Okay. Friends, okay. Okay. Second thing is children, if you go to a bank for a loan that I want to open a clinic, I want a loan. I want to open a hospital, I get a loan. You know, doctors are the most easy, easy people who get the loan from the bank because bank has a social respect for doctor. They know that the doctor will earn, he will first give his EMI and then he will take any money to his home. So doctors get a respect for in the banks, in the, in the all financial institutions also, okay? Yes. And this job satisfaction, I will tell you a small real incidence, okay? You, uh, I want to become a billionaire. Ah, you can become a billionaire by a doctor, becoming doctor also. You do your medical profession, and you can invest your earning in uh, shares and uh, mutual funds. That way you can become, remain a doctor and you can earn billions also, no problem. Okay, so money earns money. <laughs> Understood? Okay. And then you become Ambani, no problem. Ambani is also running a hospital he's in his mother's name, Kokila Bain Hospital. So just, just, uh, just a serious thing I want to tell you. Third point, I was coming to job satisfaction. I am telling you a real story, a real uh, incidence. Uh, my own brother-in-law, my brother-in-law, he was uh, posted as a doctor in a government hospital. You know, government hospital don't have very advanced facilities. Okay, so he was posted in a government hospital, and in government hospitals, there is a, a rotation by rotation. Doctors are on emergency duty on the night. Different doctors. So one day he was on an emergency duty. Listen to this carefully. So one day my brother-in-law, he was on an emergency duty and a case came around 10 or 11 in the night. Uh, a lady came, she was badly burned while she was cooking food. Poor farmer from a village, the lady, her husband and a small five, six old year son. And few villagers came along with that. So my brother-in-law, when he saw the case, he said the case was very hopeless. And with this hospital did not have the required equipments to salvage her. But problem was the nearest medical college was 60 kilometers away. And 60 kilometers away means three hours of journey. And that lady could not withstand that three hours. She would have certainly died. So he thought anyway she is going to die if, if I leave her. And it was very easy to refer to a medical college. But he said no. Anyway she is going to die. So let us try. So he galvanized all his staff. And they tried the whole night whatsoever medicines and facilities they had. And by the God's grace, that lady was saved after five, six hours of effort. And see, he said after six hours, when I came out and I told that man who was very, very furious, he was, he was very sad. His small child was crying for his mother. And I told him, your wife is out of danger. He said the, the satisfaction, the smile that I saw in, on his face, that was no billions and millions. Someone said, I want to become Ambani, I want to become billionaire. That is why I'm telling. He said even billions and millions of money cannot purchase that smile and that is satisfaction that I, that I saw on his face. And he said, after 15 years of my medical profession, I realized that day that what is actually called job profession, job satisfaction. So that was a job satisfaction. Okay. Say so I saw that small child, had he lost his mother, maybe his father would have married some other girl, but this child, his life would have been spoiled. At least his mother is saved. Okay. But this is not the end of the story. The second part of the story is that he had forgotten that incident. It was around a couple of months gone. Say so one day my doorbell rang. I came out, I saw the man, then I recognized he is the same man whose wife was burnt and we saved him. Then he saw behind him, there was a bullock cart full of 
wheat grains godumolu godumolu na wheat grains bullock cart full of at least 50 bags of wheat grains he said sir you saved my wife's life you saved my family this is a small token of gift for you for this so he said just tears came into my eyes i said okay you have brought it i have all the respect for you and just for your satisfaction i will take one of these bags otherwise you will feel bad you take it but of course for me this bag is one of the biggest one of the biggest presentations and biggest trophy i have ever earned in my life okay so children this is job satisfaction which you may become a bambani you became a billionaire you may become a bill gates you may become a whatsoever okay elon musk and whatsoever but this job satisfaction you will never get anywhere else except medical profession are you getting my point okay so these three things very important to galvanize you to become a doctor fine now children coming to uh, some parts of the subject okay Uh, sir, how doctors remember so many medicine names? This is a very funny thing. Some a student asked me earlier also, sir, how doctors remember so many medicine names? Or they asked me, sir, how do you remember the name of so many plants? I said, so I, uh, I said that, okay, do you remember the movie Bahubali? They said, yes. I said, what was the star cast? And they told everyone, okay, Prabhas and this, that. I said, how did you remember this? Then the child was taken aback. I said, when you are interested in something, then you are able to remember. Okay. So if you develop interest in your field, in the medical field, you develop interest in the field of botany, you will remember everything. But if you, yes, you see. So how you remember? Not only this, five years back, if a movie has come, you, if you like the movie, you remember all the star cast. So you remember what you want to remember. You remember what you like. So develop liking in your field and you will remember everything. Uh, I think I have given the answer of your question. You have already found an interest in choosing your career. That is why you are sitting here. Try to understand. Okay. You have found interest. That is why you are sitting here. Okay. Okay, children. Can you, can you, uh, since morning, since morning, what vegetarian food you have consumed? Can you name something? Since morning, what vegetarian food you have consumed? Can you name something? Okay. Someone is saying, aloo, okay. Spinach. Okay. Cabbage. Dal. Onion. Okay. Beetroot. Okay. Carrot. Okay, let us see this much. Okay, let us see this much. Lady finger, okay, lady finger. A tomato also someone has written. Okay. Okay. Brinjal, okay, bhai. brinjal bhi le leta hon, chalo. Okay, that's all, that's all. Okay. Now let us children see. The names some you have written, some of them are English names and some of them are Hindi names. Suppose, let us, we, we write all the English names, okay? Let us, we write all the English names. So, potato, cabbage, dal, onion, beetroot, carrot, okay, fine. Now, we can see the Hindi names of these also. Let us see the Hindi name. 
so it will be okay palak it is called patta gobi dal is dal only so you can write it as pulses onion is pyaaz beetroot is chukandar carrot is gajar lady finger is bhindi tomato is tomatoer and brinjal is bagan these are the hindi names of these vegetables okay now some of the telugu names i know the one i know i will tell you for example this is bangal dumpa if i am correct let me know this is palakura this is i think it is called cabbage only this is uh, pappu this is uh, ullipai this i don't know this is i think it is called carrot only lady finger is uh, bendakaya tomato is tomato and uh, brinjal is i think vankaya probably if i am correct probably some may be i may be wrong acha beetroot is beetroot in telugu also very good okay okay fine now children what i want to tell you let us come to some scientific things now this is three languages english hindi and telugu similarly if you see uh, marathi in marathi uh, pyaaz is called as kanda potato is called as um, um, batata and so on so if you see same thing has many names depending upon the language a local people use so these language these names yes okay okay now just please stop and listen to me okay please stop your messaging and listen to me what i want to tell you so children as you saw the same thing depending upon the local language of their area has different names india is a country where at least 20 25 30 different languages are spoken so same plant may be known by 30 different names and if you see throughout the world same plant may have hundreds of names depending upon the local language used this name is called as the vernacular name so vernacular names are given in local language same plant has different names in different area that is called not standardized okay standardized means uniform same in everywhere so these local names are not standardized these are given by local people of a local area in local language so these names are different now children problem is what will be the problem in the field of science suppose you have done very good some scientific work on onion okay you have done some very good scientific work on onion you are from andhra pradesh you went to france and in france in an international conference you are reading your paper and you said my research work is on ullipai okay ullipai is a vegetable and whatsoever how many people will understand which plant you are want to you want to tell about tell me second point i am saying that as i said na same plant in hindi it is called alu 
in telugu it is called bangal dumpa in english it is called uh, mm, potato in uh, marathi it is called batata it means it is not a standard name this is called non standardized means same organism having different names okay so it means most of the people sitting in that conference will not understand which plant you are want to you want to talk about so that is why children there was a need to give standardized name means one plant or one organism should be named uniformly throughout the world by one name and this is how we came from vernacular name to scientific nomenclature scientific nomenclature these names are given by scientists on the basis of description of the organism it means the scientific name okay will not be given any name you wanted to give the organism is studied it is properly described that root is like this stem is like this fruit is like this flowers are like this on on the basis of this description a name is given okay second these names are standardized means same organism is known by same name throughout the world means that is or an organism has only one name are you understanding this point okay yeah these scientific names are called as biological names you are absolutely correct this scientific nomenclature is called as biological name bilkul absolutely you are correct okay understood children any problem so the initially when was vernacular naming that is naming in local language that is why same organism was known by different names in different part of the world and that created a confusion among people that is why when man became scientist then he decided that we will first completely study the plant we will describe the plant and on the basis of this description we will give one name and this name will be common for entire world an organism will be known by the same name throughout the world this is called as standardized name okay and this type of naming is scientific nomenclature any confusion to anyone i am not getting your responses okay can we continue
हेलो इफ यू हैव अंडरस्टूड यू कैन रेज योर हैंड बिकॉज आई एम नॉट एबल टू सी योर मैसेजेस कैन वी हेलो ओके फाइन थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू सो चिल्ड्रेन वेन इट वॉज डिसाइडेड दैट एन ऑर्गेनिज्म विल बी नोन बाई ओनली वन नेम थ्रू आउट द वर्ल्ड then it was decided how to do this okay so how to do this how to give a scientific naming so there was a scientist called as carolus linnaeus carolus linnaeus okay he gave a system of scientific naming of or ganisms called as can anyone tell what is this system called okay children this is called as binomial nomenclature what do you mean by ha someone has given the correct answer very good sudha has given the correct answer ha pavan has also given correct answer very good what do you mean by by and here also ha here also good very good damodar buddha magupta okay fine children what is the meaning of by two okay so it means something two is related here okay so binomial system of nomenclature okay the because the scientific name or you can say biological name of and organism consists of two words that is why this came to be known as the binomial system of nomenclature no scientific name is one but that name consists of two words okay okay suppose your name is pavan kalyan so name is one but it consist of two words pavan and kalyan understood or your name is reshmika mandana so name is one but it consist of two words reshmika and mandana understood ha very good very good very good okay children see ah vijay devar konda also you are correct <laughs> okay children so i will now there are certain rules of this binomial nomenclature so i will explain you by 
taking one example which is the most common example yes alu arjun also ha huh? he is my favorite okay fine so children i will explain this by giving the name of one of the most common fruits which is uh, loved by everyone and that is the mango fine let us try to understand it very good very good ha huh? yes very good yes sir so common or english name mango hindi name is aam and if i am not wrong telugu it is called mamidi kaya mamidi kaya am i correct okay thank you okay fine now coming to scientific name name as per binomial nomenclature okay now children i will tell you what are the rules of this naming okay so as you know we are calling it binomial why because a scientific name consists of two words okay scientific name consists of two words the first one is called as the generic name generic name or name of genus and second one is called specific name or name of species okay fine this is the first point that a scientific name consists of two words first one is the generic name or genus second one is specific name is species second point children name of genus always start with capital letter and name of species always start with small letter so second point is name of genus will always start with with name of genus will always start with capital letter very good and name of species will always start with small letter very good very good now children as you see i have underlined them separately so remember when you are hand writing it when you are hand writing it you underline both of them but separately this also remember you cannot make a direct line like this this is wrong okay you cannot do it like this so you have to underline them separately and when you are printing printing machine printing then both should be printed in italics letter okay both should be printed in italics letter ha huh, paisam set item you can also take but we are taking one example to explain okay then we can come to that also so again when you are hand writing it you will underline separately the name of the genus and the species and when you are printing it typing it then both words will be typed with italics letter italics can anyone tell the significance of this can anyone tell the significance of this underlining or printing in italics very good very good i have got a good answer remember children it has been decided very interesting thing it has it was decided that all scientific names will be given in latin language so either it is derived from latin language listen this point is very interesting point all scientific names are given in latin language 
either it is given in latin language or if it is from other language then it is latinized means converted to latin and to show this latin origin we underline it so we underline or print italics to show the latin origin of the name okay yes i am coming to that who is that uh, pavan kumar i am coming to that beta now the question is why latin there are so many languages in the world english french uh, japanese uh, hindi also uh, telugu also uh, why latin language so children there are two reasons listen very carefully there are two reasons latin is a dead language it is no more used so there are no chances of any change in this language so it is due to due to its dead language it is a static language it will it is not change so once a name given will never change first second children very interesting thing is in latin language there are no synonyms means one word has only one meaning there are no synonyms in latin language in english you may have a confusion suppose i come to the class and i say children today i will tell you about tale now tale means a story also and tale means a part of the monkey okay from the back and dogs so you will be confused sir is going to tell about uh, that appendage of the monkey or sir is going to tell about the story will there be a confusion or not tell me ha huh, fair okay will there be a confusion or not come on yes or no yes but in latin language there are no synonyms one word has only one meaning it means there will be no confusion so due to these two reasons first a dead language so no chances of change and second no synonyms so no confusion that is why the scientific names are given in latin language i think that is clear to everyone okay so three points we have discussed two words name of genus and name of species second genus start with capital species is start with small then both words when hand written are separately underlined and when printed italics this is to show latin origin and why latin both information i have given you okay fine now children one more thing one third word is also added which is not a part of binomial binomial two letter but the person who has given this name he is called author so name of the author is written here after the name of the species in abbreviated form okay for example this name was given by carolus linnaeus hence it is written as lin so name of the linnaeus in short form is written here okay but you know children you cannot convert someone's name into latin language that is why this is printed in normal letters okay roman letters and it is not underlined because you cannot latinize the name of a person that is why this will not be latinized this will not be underlined or written in italics so these three are collectively called as the the binomial epithet so name of the genus name of the species and after that name of the author sir is it compulsory to put names in ha huh, that now children see now children it is very difficult to remember who was the author author of which name it is very difficult to remember that is why generally when we write these names we we omit the name of the author we generally skip the name of the author but if you are asked what is the technical method of writing then we will have to say this is the technical method but as per convenience because it is not that easy to remember the author of all the names that is why we generally omit the name of the author in our general writing but especially when we are talking about the uh, rules of binomial then we will have to tell is it clear to everyone ha huh, someone is asking what is alsatian alsatian is children a variety of dog if you are a dog lover you know there are many varieties of dog pomeranian german shepherd distemper so alsatian is also a, a type of dog which is of course very very ferocious type of dog okay okay ha huh. now someone has asked very good thing that who records all these names very good children so 
all the rules all the rules regarding the name of the plant is governed by an organization called as icbn international code of botanical norman college so if there is any dispute what name should be given so this is the organization international code of botanical nomenclature that will give his final decision what should be a name whether name change or not okay and similarly there is iczn international code of zoological nomenclature responsible for nomenclature of animals okay so your this query is also satisfied that who makes these rules yes yes suppose children you have you have discovered a plant you gave it a name but this name should be approved by the icbn because maybe that plant has already been discovered by someone and already it has been named by someone okay okay it has been named by someone okay so these are the organizations no these are organizations children these are organizations that have their meeting at different places okay Pan <laughs> panthera is a genus now this genus if it is lion you call panthera leo if it is tiger you call panthera tigris so a genus can have different species so panthera is the name of genus lion the species of lion is leo panthera leo lion panthera tigris tiger okay hmm and panthera pardus is leopard so panthera pardus is leopard so all these leopard lion and tiger belong to the same genus but they have different species that is why they look quite similar uh, sir are there any other dead languages therefore that i will have to specialize in language studies beta yes everything has scientific names okay B bacteria also have scientific names fungi also have scientific names okay sanskrit you cannot say it is a dead language of course it is spoken at very little pace but sanskrit is still taught in the universities uh, there are villages in a country where people still speak sanskrit so sanskrit of course the range has been narrowed but it, you cannot call sanskrit as a dead language hmm. okay fine so children this is all regarding the binomial system of nomenclature now coming back to this list that what you ate in the morning coming back to this list i am giving you name of some of these plants biological names did the zines what is zines sir i can't understand
हा सम वन इज सेइंग सर द नेम ऑफ द रेड फॉक्स इज वल्पस वल्पस यस चिल्ड्रन ओके सो इन जोलॉजी इट इज अलाउड ओके इन जोलॉजी द नेम ऑफ द जीनस एंड द स्पीसीज कैन बी सेम ओके ओके बट दीज आर नॉट अलाउड इन बॉटनी you will not find any name of a plant where the name of genus and species is same but iczn allows this so icbn does not allow does not allow the same name of the genus and species so plants do not have same name of genus and species but iczn allows that is according to the rule they have made not only this and naza naja you know naja naja it is one of the very poisonous snakes there is one uh, more antelope called as gazelle gazelle it is a type of a deer okay cobra yes so in zoology it is allowed okay tautonyms these are called as okay but in botany it is not allowed so you will not find any plant having both yeah name of the species and sub species can be same in botany or variety can be same okay so i think you have got the answer of your question ha huh. yes but two different genus can have name of same species name uh, someone is asking why mango and neem both have indica maybe that they were discovered from india they were seen from india by carolus plus dinius so he gave the species name indica okay this is possible that two different genus can have same species name not only this there is a tree called as saraca indica okay there is another plant which is called as madhuka indica madhuka indica saraka indica asa directa indica neem is asa directa indica mangifera indica so species name of different genus can be same okay that is why if you just write the name of the species it has no meaning name of the species has only a meaning when you write along with the name of the genus okay ha mimosa pudica okay touch me not is mimosa pudica so okay children just we are coming to the end of the class out of these upper 2 3 i am giving you the scientific name let us see here okay solenum tube just a minute tuberosum okay solenum tuberosum now children genus solenum can have other species also can anyone tell what is the scientific name of brinjal scientific name of brinjal can anyone tell what is the scientific name of brinjal scientific name of brinjal is solenum melongena so potato and brinjal are members of the same family okay solenum melongena okay cabbage is brassica Oleracea capitata. Now you will say, what is this third word has come? You said a name has only two words. Yes, children. There are certain cases where we have to write the name of the variety also, because you know cauliflower and cabbage, their name of the genus is also same. Their name of the species is also same. they are two different varieties of the same species okay that is why when we say cabbage along with the name of the genus and name of the species we also have to mention the name of the variety okay for example cauliflower is brassica oleracea botrytis okay brassica oleracea botrytis okay now it depends because papu are of many types okay there are many types of pulses okay 
Okay. If you take the yellow dal, tur dal, then it is called as kajanus kajan. Acha palakura left. Okay. Palakura left. Ha. Palakura. I will tell you. Spinacea oleracea. So Palakura is Spinacea oleracea. Huh. Very good. Many of you are telling the names. Okay. Can anyone tell the, the achha, last word of today? Can anyone tell the name of carrot, scientific name of carrot? Huh, scientific names are very important. Can anyone tell the scientific name of carrot? Don't see Google. Don't see Google. Ten on your own. Very good. Dicus carota. Very good. Daucus carota is the scientific name of carrot. Okay. Last word of today. Tell your own scientific name. Tell your own scientific name. Last thing of today. Ha. We are genus name is Homo. Species name is Sapiens and our subspecies is also Sapiens. So we are Homo Sapiens Sapiens. Okay. Mimosa pudica, someone is asking, Mimosa pudica is children, touch me not plant. Okay. When you, these are, there is a plant you see when you touch the leaves droop down like this. That is called as Mimosa pudica. Okay. Hmm. Very good. So children, this scientific naming, we will continue for tomorrow also. Tomorrow, I am giving you homework. Please remember scientific names of any 10 food items. Food items means it can be pulses, it can be grains like wheat, rice, maize, etc. Okay? Or it can be vegetables also. So your homework is scientific name of at least 10 food items which we use in our day-to-day -day work. Ha, Kukumis said I was very good. Are you ready to accept the challenge? Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. See you. God bless you all. Have a nice sleep. Tomorrow meet you again. Bye.